hello if you would like to recreate multicolor dragon eggs look on your or your client's nails, this video is just for you. My name is Anastasia, I post nail art tutorials and tips and tricks for nail technicians, so if you are all into nail art and nail world, just like me, consider subscribing. For this design we will need acrylic or gel nails, and now I am applying white acrylic on a tip. I'm using the regular white I use for pink and white, this is Radiant White by NSI. So if you will have acrylic or gel nails on your client, first I recommend to create a thin clear base and remove the sticky layer if it's gel, slightly buff it and then do the following. Now I will take another white bead with acrylic powder and now place it near the free edge and stretch it towards the cuticle. Our goal here is to apply white acrylic as smooth and as even as possible. So try to apply it really nice from the beginning as we won't file it later. Now we need to wait a few seconds until the surface is completely matte. Hold the nail really tight and then with a nylon net simply press it right on top of the product and wait for a few seconds. This part of the video is at its original speed so you can actually see how long does it take and now carefully remove it from one side to the other and now we have this egg looking pattern. Whoops, there is some part of my previous practice, I will remove it. And while acrylic is still wet with your finger, but the finger should be only in the glove, I will fix the side walls or you can even take a light buffer and slightly buff off the rest of the product. While the product is pretty soft, it's really easy and fast to do that. Now let's color the egg. So I will take two drops of no cleanse gel top coat and add a drop of stained glass paint, Parma pink, and another green color. Mix them with a brush. If you have glass gels or glass gel polishes, don't worry about this step, it's just I don't have them as much. And now I will start making some colors. I will first stretch the green color. I'm using ombre brush, but any kind of square brush will work here. And as you can see, the color falls into the ridges and creates a darker color there. And then I will slightly stretch it. Now let's take the other color, the pink, and stretch it. Oh my god, I added way too much of the color. Oh well. I still kind of like this bright look and then I will slightly stretch it downwards and then we will have some color in between which is kind of purple and now we will cure it in LED for one minute. So it's up to you, you can leave it like this or I decided to add more color so I mixed this pink with a green on a brush and then added additional color and then we need to cure it again. This is another option if you feel confident about ombre and if you don't, feel free to click the link on the upper right corner and watch my ombre webinar. So now I'm stretching a dark green acrylic and then I'm adding a yellow. So I want to create three colors here and near the cuticle I will use the regular white which is for pink and white from the cuticle and now again we need to wait just a little bit until the surface is matte and press the nylon net again right on the top and try not to move it. Okay, now we can see that it's already working and you don't really have to wait that long. Now carefully remove it. And you see it moved a little bit, so now I'm fixing the sidewalls, pressing the product back again. And as you can see, this product near the free edge is kind of messed up. And actually, as there's only one row that got messed, we can easily fix it. So I will take additional small bead of a green acrylic powder the one I used for the background, and simply add it right on the free edge, carefully stretch it, also do not apply too much, and with any sharp object I use just regular orange wood stick, then outline the ridges again. So 
I will wait a little bit, the product should not be too wet, and then outline them again, and nobody will know that there was some mistake. Okay, now I want to add some more color, so I will take this dark green, stretch it, and immediately, without waiting with a clean brush, only with a monomer, I will stretch it again, so I will wash off the color from the upper layers and leave it in the ridges. Another option of dragon egg, white background and turquoise acrylic stretched up to the white. So to create this design, the nylon net should be really firm. As you can see, you can't really stretch it. So I have this one and also I have this purple. I like this one also, but you see it's stretching too much so it won't work. It will mess all the objects around. And this one is too stretchy as well. And also I think the segments are kind of too small for this. So I found that this nylon net are the best for this design and this is the result if the grooves are not too deep actually it's okay to leave it like it just make sure you apply the top coat or if you want a perfectly smooth surface then you will need to encapsulate it with a gel or acrylic buff and apply a top coat so the options for this design are limitless just play with a different pattern, different color, and every time you will get a different look. So I believe you and your clients might like this design, even if you are not a big fan of Game of Thrones. Thanks for being with me, do not forget to subscribe to not miss my videos in the future, and I'll see you next time, bye!